Okay, guys, what's up? Today, what we're gonna try to do is adjust the slide room on this camper here. Now, this is a 95 Terry Resort made by Fleetwood. Now, the problem is, Trying to make adjustments on this slide room, it's next to impossible to find any actual documentation or information to show you how to do this. I have scoured the internet and I have found next to nothing. Um, I followed a couple leads, like for instance, this is a Hydra slide room and I was able to find the company that actually manufactured these for, um, for Fleetwood. And I was able to find some diagrams on their site, but again, the diagrams were more for parts or for troubleshooting, not how to actually adjust the room. What they want you to do is they want you to take it into a service dealer. So I think Fleetwood's been bankrupt for about 15 years already. So info is super hard to come by, but I was able to get enough information from that document that I think I was able to piece together how to do this. So come on over. We're going to take a look and see what we have to do here. So one of the first things that we're going to take a look at is this set of bolts right down here. Okay. So we've got two, two main bolts here. Now what these bolts are going to do is they're going to control how this room, let's see if I can see here, they're going to control how that room's going to move up or down on that track. Okay. Um, the other thing too, though, is depending on how you adjust these bolts, it could also make the room tilt left or right like that too. So we don't want that. We just want this room to come down just a little bit. It binds a little bit at the top and when you try to run the slide room out, uh, you can tell that the top gets a little stuck. Eventually it pops out, but it's not super fun and usually I gotta, you know, give it a little helping hand at the top of the slide room. So again, these two bolts, these should be able to adjust the room up or down. Now, this bolt in here, okay, so here and you're gonna see the collar hopefully on the other side here, these are gonna adjust the room in and out this way here. So right now the bottom always kind of stays out a little bit. So we can try making some adjustments on there and see what we can see what we can do. So some tools you're gonna need for this job here. Uh, you gotta have the good old WD-40 to loosen up those bolts. I didn't have a seven eighths wrench, so Crescent's gotta get it done. And then I got a big inch and a half here to, uh, to loosen those bolts. So a couple of key things before we start, okay? We're gonna go a little bit at a time. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna make drastic changes. We go a little bit at a time. We run the room in and out to see what's happening. Okay. Uh, another thing too, count the threads on the bolts so you've got a reference point to start. Okay, if you don't have a reference point to start, you could throw things out of whack and then you're gonna have all sorts of trouble on your hands. So again, for me, the room was binding a little bit. So the goal here is to drop it about mm, eighth of an inch. If I can get it down an eighth of an inch and it, it's gonna run in and out smooth, I'm a happy camper. So we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna start making some adjustments on these bolts here. So, get that set up and we can get to work. Almost seven, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, almost seven. Okay, so that should be even. Just give me a little reef. Okay, run the slide room in for me. Okay, so no, most of the way. We want to get it in like just over three quarters. Okay, so she's gonna run the slide room in. And then we're gonna go up here and we're gonna take a look and see what's happening. So. Okay, you can take it in. Yep. Yeah, stop there. Okay, so let me just go take a look here. All right, so we want to see how close we are to having this thing actually close without hitting. It's going to be close. Okay, take it in another inch or so. Okay, one more time. Okay, and stop right there. That is darn near perfect, guys. You can see here, I actually have a little bit of clearance on this side. I think I'm gonna try to go just a little bit lower. But before what was happening was this slide room, I don't know if you guys can actually see in here, where my finger is, okay. Yeah, this actually slides in and moves in here now. Before, it was very tight and it would actually hit on this piece of metal here first, okay. So, this is looking a heck of a lot better than what it was before. So I think we're gonna to try to do one more fine adjustment on it, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. So let me just get this out of the way. Let's see. Okay, run it back out. Yeah, all the way out. Okay, we are close. Okay, we are super close, super, super close. So let's give this another tweak. Okay, Jill, I want you to try running it in again for me, okay? Try running it in again for me, and we're gonna just stop it at that same spot you stopped it at last time, okay? Yeah, stop it about there, yeah, so I can go up on the roof and I'll take a look. All right, moment of truth, let's see if I Got her dialed in now. 
I think I did, guys. I think I got it. Let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Make sure it'll fall off the ladder. <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. Okay. That is, nah, that's darn near perfect. That's almost exactly where I want to have it. Okay, so again, I don't know if you guys can see it, but now at least I got a little bit of working room here to be able to get this thing inside. See, I've got that little gap. So what that's gonna allow me to do is a turn -a -bon seal this whole leading edge of the room here again, just trying to give some longevity to this, this camper. So that's perfect. Okay, so come back down here. Check on this side here. Yeah, yeah guys, I think we, I think we nailed it. Okay, right on, good stuff.